It's a delicious show. Hello, everyone. This is Dora Konomi from the Dora Lisha Show. Although we're not officially back till September, I would like to welcome you all to a special feature, and a feature that's close to my heart, on the Hellenic Initiative Canada, THI Canada, and its fundraiser to assist with the devastating fires in Greece. We have with us former Canadian ambassador to Greece, Mr. Robert Speck, who's also an honorary director of the Hellenic Initiative. Ambassador Peck, welcome to the show. Tikanete. Hello, Thalisto, and how are you? I'm really well. You know, when we say well, it's all relative because the, the world is not well and it affects us. And I'm really happy that you're with us you know, we can, so we can talk about the tragic events in Greece, the outbreak of the fires, and THI. So tell us a little bit about the fundraiser. Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation. And uh, as a Philhellene married to a Greek Canadian, I have been witnessing the uh, dramatic images coming out of Greece since the end of July. Um, when you look at the magnitude of uh, these fires on, on Greece, I was reading this morning that over 100,000 hectare, hectares of land have been devastated. Prime Minister Mitsotakis described it as probably one of the worst environmental disasters in the country's uh, modern history. Um, although I understand today things seem to be a bit under control, there are still amber lights, if you will, in four regions of Greece. August, as you know, is a period of winds. And so there are a high level uh, of concern uh, about more fires. Um, and I think even though things may be in a better place today, the reality is this is not over. And as the government and society as a whole assesses the damage of uh, these fires, we all know that there's going to be a high toll on, uh, on average Greeks, quite frankly, uh, people who have had their properties destroyed, all of groves totally burnt, Uh, and then all of the related impacts. For me, it's painful to watch. I was ambassador during the depth of the economic crisis between 2011 and 2015. Uh, Greece emerged from that, I think, stronger than COVID, now these fires. Um, it is a testament to Greece that uh, um, the country manages to, uh, to move forward, but um, one has to wonder when Greece will get a break. And so we all uh, from afar are trying to do what we can modestly to help. And that is why as an honorary member of uh, the Hellenic Initiative Canada, we decided that it was important to show solidarity, uh, to launch a fundraising campaign, hopefully to bring together Greeks across Canada, uh, regardless of where they live, regardless of the organizations they support, so that we can really focus our efforts and ensure that the funds go where they're most uh, greatly needed. And you highlight on two important topics. One, we don't know the outcome of these fires and the severe effect that it will have on people, either personal and property. And the other important topic that you highlight on is the love of the diaspora. We're together. The diaspora loves Greece. And what I like about THI is that it brings us together. It brings us a home that we can go and support. So where can people go online and donate? Well, the easiest way, um, I, I think uh, the link uh, is something that perhaps you can put up on screen later. But if you Google the, the Hellenic Initiative Canada, it will take you to our homepage and you'll see uh, the wildfire relief campaign uh, featured on that, on that page. Um, your point about um, the diaspora and love for Greece, I, I think the diaspora, uh, which is obviously a Greek heritage, includes people like me who are Philhellenes who understand that uh, Greece uh, is a, a country with great history, which has a very fragile ecosystem that we all love and admire and visit when we go to Greece. Uh, but I think it's going to take a very concerted effort. Uh, in addition to what the government has done, the government of Greece, there is a major uh, file, a wildfire relief campaign that has been launched. Uh, to, to help people. But I think at the grassroots level, there are going to be needs that are not necessarily addressed by government or cities. Uh, and uh, we hope that those funds that we raise will go to organizations who are on the ground uh, that can provide uh, assistance as the assessment of the true impact of this crisis is unknown. Um, you know, this fund is not uh, um, uh, an emergency re relief fund 
uh, for today because governments deal with those things. Mm -hmm. This will be very much about, I think, the, the intermediate and long-term uh, aspects of the relief effort once we actually have a good idea of what those needs are. So we're going to work with like-minded organizations on the ground that are credible. Uh, THI uh, has as one of its underpinnings, uh, transparency and accountability. We know that when people give harder money, they want to know that it really is going to have impact and is going to go to those who are in need and uh, will be properly used. And let me ask one quick question. The money is not going out tomorrow but you're holding on to it and then deciding where it's going. Why? Well, in every crisis, of course, the first priority is saving lives and dealing with the immediate disaster. But we also know that as a crisis uh, moves forward, that uh, there are assessments made of other needs in support of those victims and people most affected. So we are uh, at this point going to take a bit of time uh, to work with partner organizations in Greece to see where those needs uh, evolve and uh, to ensure that the, the funds raised by THI Canada will actually have high impact and go to those most deeply affected. So let me ask you a personal question before I let you go. Why did you join the THI? Well, you know, I, I was privileged to serve as Canada's ambassador to Greece. It was my second time actually serving as a diplomat at the Canadian Embassy. Um, I believe it's important now that I've left diplomacy to find a way of giving back. Um, the Hellenic Initiative Canada is a sister organization. As you know, the original branch was founded in the United States. There's also one in Australia. Um, I've always felt that there is strength in numbers and given the talent and the success of uh, Greeks uh, around the world, that it was important to have a vehicle where those people who were like-minded in spirit get involved and uh, support Greece, uh, not only during times of needs, but also in other areas such as entrepreneurship and, and reversing the brain drain, if you will, because we've seen uh, that there have been great efforts to encourage uh, Greeks to come back to their home country. THI also plays uh, a role in supporting entrepreneurship and frankly, supporting excellence. And so I thought for all those reasons that THI Canada uh, was a, a very good place for me to invest my volunteer time. And I would like to thank you and THI Canada and the United States for jumping on. I remember seeing the first post about the wildfires in Greece and the fund within a day or two of this happened. So thank you for your support. Thank you for being there and giving back. And Armin Mokrates, you can find all the information on the screen. We post it on our social media. So go donate, go support. And Ambassador Eck, thank you for your time. Thank you for your support.